Hey, this is Professor Perez again. I'm back for part two of scientific notation. Now, in this presentation, we're actually going to write numbers in scientific notation. We're going to do a review first, and then we'll get to those problems. Anyway, let's see what Charlie's up to. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, ready to go? No. This is part two. Here we go, right there. Now, in the first part of this presentation, we learned that multiplying by powers of 10 moved the decimals. If it was a positive exponent, it moved to the right. If it was a negative exponent, it moved to the left. And so, let's kind of review what we found. Okay? If we have 10 to the fourth, well, 10 to the fourth means 10,000. That's 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, right? 10 cubed means 1,000. 10 squared is 100. 10 to the first is 10. Remember, 10 to the zero power is 1. Remember, anything to the zero power is 1, except for 0 to the zero. Okay, that's undefined. And 10 to the negative 1 is 1 over 10. 10 to the negative 2 is 1 over 10 squared. 10 to the negative 3 is 1 over 10 cubed, which is 1 over 1,000. And 10 to the negative 4 is 1 over 10 to the fourth, which is 1 over 10,000, right? Okay. Now, 10 to the fourth. In scientific notation, if you're multiplying a number by 10 to the fourth, it moves the decimal which way, Charlie? To the right. To the right four times. 10 to the third moves the decimal which way, Charlie? To the right. To the right three times. 10 squared moves the decimal which way? To the right. right two times. 10 to the first moves it to the right. One time, right, to the right. 10 to the zero doesn't move it. How about 10 to the negative one, Charlie? To the left. That's to the left. That's right. To the left. 10 to the negative 2 moves it which way, Charlie? To the left. To the left two times. That's right. 10 to the negative 3 moves it which way? To the left. Left three times. To the left. And 10 to the negative 4 moves it which way, Charlie? To the left. To the left four times. That's right. All right. Okay, anyway. Now notice here that positive exponents move the decimal to the right and negative exponents move them to the left. To the left. Don't forget. Okay. So, 2.35 times 10 to the fourth. We're going to work on this problem right here. Okay. Now, which way is the decimal move, Charlie? To the right. To the right, four times. That should be easy. That's right. It's a review there. Negative 5.489 times 10 to the negative 8 moves the decimal which way? To the left. To the left, eight times. There we go. And there's your answer there. Now, some of you have said, hey, I forgot how to do my place value. Yeah, I know you're out there. And you too. Okay. How do you read this number in English? It's what do you say? If somebody gives this number, can you read this to me? What do you say? Point oh 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 five oh four eight nine something like that. Well, let's try to read this number. Let's review our place values. Remember, there's a pattern to this. Okay, that decimal is showing you where the ones place is. So there it is. Remember, your pattern is always ones, tenths, hundreds. If you go the other way, okay. It goes ones, tens, hundreds, one thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, one millions, ten millions, hundred millions. Well, that pattern goes the other way, right? Okay, watch right here. There's our ones. It goes ones, tenths, hundreds. Okay, and take a break. Now here we go again. Now it's one thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. Take a break. Now, here we go. One millions, ten millions, hundred millions. Take a break. And now, one billions, ten billions, hundred billions. So that nine is in the hundreds billions place. So this number is actually red. It's negative. Negative 5,489 hundred billions. Now, that's a good question for the dinner table tonight. See if they can answer that. Okay, let's do another one here. 7.00305 times 10 to the negative 5. And what we're going to do here is write in scientific notation. Remember, the decimal moves which way, Charlie? To the left five times. How do we read this in English? Okay, here we go. Ones, tenths, hundredths, one thousandths, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths. Take a break. Okay, one millionths, ten millionths, hundred millionths. Take a break. One billionths, ten billionths. So that five is in the ten billionths place. So how do we say this number? It's 
10 billions. Oh, wait, fine. Remember, another question for the dinner table tonight. Okay, so notice in these examples, we're taking the numbers out of scientific notation. Now we're ready to put them back in scientific notation. So here we go, 425.89, 425.89. Here, we gotta move the decimal so that we get a one or a number greater than one, but less than 10 to the left of the decimal. See, here's what I mean. Notice here, we move the decimal to the left two times and that gives us, Charlie, up there, 4.2589. Well, our original number was 425.89, and so we need to multiply this number, 4.2589, by 10 squared to move the decimal back right two places. So in scientific notation, 4.2589 is multiplied by 100 to get 425.89. There we go. So another one. Here's one right here. Okay, 0 0.00001365895. So here, we gotta move our decimal to get a number just to the left of it between one and 10, or equal to one. Notice here, we gotta move it, what, five times? Okay, to get 1.36589. Now, we have to move the decimal. The decimal was shifted five places, so here we need to multiply by 10 to the negative five, because that will move the decimal to the left. So we see that 1.36589 times 10 to the negative fifth, okay, is divided by 100,000, which is 10 to the negative five, to get that decimal number up there, okay? Let's do another one, negative 0 0.005007. So here, we have to move that decimal, okay, to the right three times, because that'll give us the 5.007, it's negative. Remember, the number just to the left of the decimal has to be one, or greater than one, but less than 10. Now, remember, we shifted the decimal three times, so in order to represent the decimal number that we started with, we need to move the decimal to the left three times. And so here, in scientific notation, negative 5.007 is divided by 1,000 to get negative 0 0.005007, okay? So negative 5.007 times 10 to the negative three does represent that negative 0 0.005007. Okay, now here's one, it's a little tricky here. We got 1,000.0001. That's 1,000 and one ten thousandths, right? Now, which way do you move the decimal place here, Charlie? Good luck. Okay, you gotta move it to the left for three times, right? Now that gives you the 1.0000001, okay? And so, now, the decimal was shifted three places, so in scientific notation, we must multiply by 10 to the third power. That puts the decimal place back in the proper place, and this was meters, okay? And so, remember, 10 to the third means 1,000. Remember in the metric prefixes, Charlie? 1,000 was represented by what? Kilo? That was the kilo. So, 1.0000001 times 10 to the third meters is 1.0000001 kilometers, okay? Remember, kilo means 1,000 or 10 to the third. So 10 to the third is replaced with kilo. So 10 to the third meters is kilometers. Okay, let's do another one here. This is a very small time. It's 107 something. Well, I don't want to talk about that right now. Okay, anyway, which way is decimal going to move, Charlie? We gotta move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, whoosh, nine times to get the 1.07. Now we shifted it nine times, so we gotta move it back to the left nine times to get that representation that we started with. Now, 10 to the negative nine, this is seconds, okay? Now, 10 to the negative nine was what metric prefix, Charlie? Nano? It was nano, very nice. So 1.07 times 10 to the negative ninth, Seconds is the same as 1.07 nanoseconds because nano means one over one billionth, which is 10 to the negative ninth. And right there completes our lecture on scientific notation. So be sure you practice, and we'll see you all again soon.